that should you, you guys get this uh, certificate of appointment to the County Board of Health we've had a request from the Health Department to um, Doug, Mr. Greg Hockmeyer recently resigned his position and um, they've requested uh, Grace Lauder be appointed to the uh, Whitley County Board of Health so mo mo motion second a motion second discussion Hearing no discussion, all in favor raise your right hand. All opposed, same sign. Thank you. We, I'm, I'm kind of doing Amy's work too. Sorry about that. Um, we've had a request from uh, the Whitley County Autumn Art Festival. The, the occasion is an art festival. They're, they would like to, on September the 7th, set up 8th, September 8th all day, use of the courthouse property, the contacts Jeff Walker. They would like to use the courthouse property, gazebo, and county parking facilities at the government center and lot at Van Buren and Washington Street. They'd also like to use the power at the gazebo and water from an outside hose. For what day? September the 8th is the actual day. They'll set up on September 7th. And the art festival is on the 8th. No, we've not heard. In fact, what are they going to do about Old Supper's Day? I was we were just discussing that the other day. So, I don't know. But no, that's not the Labor Day weekend. That's the Labor Day weekend. So weekend before third. Yeah, Labor Day's like the first race or so. And they want that set up set up eight. Is the farmers market done at that time? Um here's here's my memory of how that worked last year. That particular day the farmers market went to the four H fairgrounds. That that's how I remember this going on last year. So I can't, I can't answer it, to be honest with you, but that's yeah, a good point. Good point. Uh, we have a long time. Uh, we, we certainly can table it. it it'll, be, it'll be no problem at all to table that. We've got well, a long time. Well, if we promised it to the farmer's market, I think we ought to Sounds check good to in. me. Uh, we have plenty of time to get yeah. it checked out. This isn't like sometimes when they want it next week, so. Well, I don't, uh, we have. With your permission, we'll table that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, we had another. We had a, a request for a plan commission appointment. George, do you have that information you can share with us? Um, just find it. Sorry. Yeah, this is from uh, David Sewell. Um, appointment of uh, well, Larry Tackett has resigned. He's going out of the area. Um, they recommend the appointment of Michael Krause to serve on the South Whitley Planning Commission. And he's a resident of South Whitley. Originally from South Whitley, recently moved back to the community, and is interested in serving on the commission. And the members of the South Whitley Town Commission Council have recommended him for this position. And they ask that we please uh, appoint him as soon as possible so they can uh, fill the vacancy space on the commission. And it would be a four-year term until January 1st, 2016. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Discussion. Hearing no discussion, all in favor raise your right hand. All opposed, same sign. Okay. With that, I know it's 2 o'clock, but we're, we're going to take a five-minute break. That way, when we come back, we'll be we're ready to start on uh, wind discussion. So we'll uh, reconvene at 2:05. Very good. Very good. Not a good deal to now. Wind discussion today. I would like to start by uh, I, I have a, an opening statement, and then I would give my fellow commissioners an opportunity if they wish to. Uh, to give an opening statement. I'd like to start our wind discussion today by thanking David Sewell and the Whitley County Planning Commission members for their time 
and dedication towards creating the wind ordinance presented to the commissioners. Let me assure you that each of the commissioners have studied the issue while the ordinance process was ongoing. Commissioner Shrump is especially close to the ordinance since he serves on the Planning Commission. Commissioner Rethlake and I have attended several plan commission meetings and the subsequent hearings. I personally have two large binders and one small one filled with information gleaned during the process, as well as letters from citizens both pro-wind and anti-wind. Speaking only for myself, I attempted to answer each letter, though it did become an overwhelming task. What I can say with certainty is that I read each one, even the ones that were not complimentary and those that threatened my commissioner position. As I've proven previously, when I believe in something that's good for the citizens, I will stick to my guns, even if it means giving up an almost 30-year career helping people. I believe I was elected to rep all, represent all citizens, even if we choose not to agree on the issues. I only want what's best for the majority of our county residents. Thank you for bearing with us as we attempt to craft the proposed ordinance so that the best interest of the majority of the county citizens is at the forefront of our decisions. It probably seems impossible to believe, but when I tell you that today is the first time all three commissioners have discussed the ordinance, I am speaking the truth. I am as anxious as you are to hear what Commissioner Shrump and Rethlake have to say. It is our goal to discuss the ordinance at this meeting and the May 21st meeting before holding a public hearing. I will tell you now that so you can be prepared that, our, that at our public hearing, only those that have information or questions pertaining to a particular section of the ordinance will be heard. We will not accept testimony that indicates this ordinance creates hardships because as I stated earlier, we have heard these comments on several occasions previously in the Planning Commission hearings. Most likely today in our next meeting, you may hear things that make you happy or make you upset. We expect our guests to refrain from applause, cheering, booing, etc. It's our anticipation that you'll sit and listen as we review the ordinance presented to us. Failure to do so may result in being escorted from the room. It is possible that we will recommend changes and return the ordinance with our changes to the Planning Commission. Finally, this process has been extremely hard on neighbor and even family relationships. It is my fervent desire that these relationships can be healed soon. This process has also been on my mind for many, many months and it is hard knowing that while you can't please everyone, I must do what's best for Whitley County. Thank you for attending, and I'll now give my fellow commissioners an, opp an opportunity to present a statement. I, I guess being involved in this process since January of 2011, I've been in, involved with the ordinance, and I voted in favor of this proposed ordinance, and understand that this is not, and I will say, not a perfect ordinance. Um, we as commissioners must decide the future direction of our county and plan as best as we can to accomplish this direction. Throughout the next commissioner meetings, we hope to examine the ordinance and as commissioners, provide for a proper ordinance for this county. I don't have a prepared statement, but the only thing I can assure the people of with the county, and I agree with what the chairman and vice chairman both said. This will be a tough decision, but in my own mind, the decision I make will be fair, considering the information that I have been given, the projects I have seen, and the effort that the plan commission, and I agree with the chairman, they certainly need to be complimented for the work that they have done. So we will continue to listen for the next 30 or 45 days, but uh, till then, when it comes up to vote, and I can honestly tell you today, I don't know whether I am going to vote for it or against it. I'm still getting information, pertinent information, I could say, and since the event over, I believe, in Paulding County, uh, Ohio, uh, why I've had a number of people 
that I have seen, not so much in phone calls or written, but uh, that I have seen asked me if I have seen that. So, and that's all, Mr. Chairman, I have to say at this time. Thank you, Commissioner Rethlake, and I, <coughs> I want to expand a little bit on what you, you said. Uh, I kind of gave you target dates. That, uh, w we don't have to do that. We do, have, we do have target dates. Our clock, I believe, started April 10th. Does that sound right, David? Do you know? April 11th. April 11th, and we have 90 days. Right. So, I think what I'm trying to say is we're not, we don't really want to set on this. We want to, we want to work through it. We've been listening to the Planning Commission for a long time. We want to work through it and, um, and get it done. However, if it, 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 my dates were, were just an idea and that may not hold, that may not hold true. Okay. Um, I think one of the things I want to start the, start, start the discussion is what do, what do we see? Where do we see Whitley County as a county? Do, do, do we do you see us as a as a bedroom community? Are we industrial? Are we both? I mean, I, where do we see? And then, where do we want to be seen in twenty years? Um, any thoughts on that, gentlemen? Well. Truly, we have a comprehensive plan that, that we have we've worked at, discussed, and and part of that plan is um, is not only economic development as far as focusing on on what we have in the TIF district. Um, it, it's trying to keep agricultural communities agricultural, and then we have transition areas, and I, and I think part of that is is as you're saying you know what are we looking at for the transition areas mm -hmm. truly is what we're looking at mm -hmm. and the, the transition areas um, <clears throat> my opinion truly is the allen county border kosciuszko county border we have we have people coming in we truly my opinion again we are a, a bedroom community we're, we're the people that um, are in in Allen County, um, our taxes are better. Our, our um, we have a, a great education system. It could be a little bit better as, as far as the high school. We need to do deal with that. But uh, um, I, my thought is, we are a bedroom community. Thank you. I would. Uh tend to agree with what you said, uh, George. It's, it's a tough decision. We get the questions, well, that my, that's my land. Why shouldn't I be able to do with that land what I wish? But then on the other hand, how it directly affects your neighbor also is an issue or a problem. Now, I think the bedroom community. Uh, definitely, I have received a lot of information from people that have moved to Whitley County, bought a three acre or five acre plot of ground and built a home there, not knowing that maybe there'd be a wind farm that might be suggested for that area. Uh, I. I could not have predicted that 10, 12 years ago without, you know, having a magical wand or something. So it is a county that offers businesses every right to come and be a part of our business or industry. But we also have a lot of people that have moved in. I have heard all kinds of issues like you people have. I still sort out the facts. Some have said it's terrible for health. Well, I have to weigh the fact that Tupacanoe Valley built a windmill right next to a school. 
So if it's so bad at, from health, why would they build it next to the school? So there are a lot of things that we look at from your ground, I should be able to do what I want. However, your neighbor says I moved out here for protection from that, whether it's a wind or a livestock, an animal uh, farm where they raise many, many cows or, or many hogs. Uh, so all these things weigh in. And where Whitley County is, and beyond a shadow of a doubt, I think Whitley County is one of the, uh, it's one of the safest. It, our law enforcement does well. Our education, I agree with George, uh, probably if we had a new high school here. But again, it's only a matter of time till Boyd Township moves across the county line. And once a farmer starts selling his land, for housing additions, which I guess would go in there. And that's just a guess. And I own no land, or I have no interest in it. But I'm saying once that happens, I think we're going to see a flourish of activity out there. So it, uh, it's, it's just a very good county to live in. And do we want to put one of these out there? Will it enhance it? Or if there is such a word, dehance it. I'm not sure question. there is, but if it, would it, if it would enhance it or go the other way, only time That's an tell. excellent question. That, that, is, that is absolutely right. If we had a crystal ball, we'd have it made. <laughs> it's kind of cloudy right now. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. We're on cutting edge. I don't know other than... And I'm sorry, Tom, I don't remember. You you were not in the TIF district era? No. Okay. Because I understand that it was much like this, and and, uh, and let's face it, I, I, I think now, certainly in retrospect, that TIF district is one of the smartest things this county ever did. And, and, and we also have, I, I'm going towards the industrial side for just a second, if I can digress, <coughs> There's a set-aside industrial park in South Whitley. There is some industrial room in Trabusco, not a lot, but there is potential for more there. And I know, I know we use the term wind farm. I know we do. I know that gets used, but but I believe that it it, it it's more industrial to me. A, a farm produces row crops produces animals. That that to me is what a farm does. It feeds it feeds the nation. And we have some fantastic farms in Whitley County. Um, and, and I think it to to go into agriculture with, with a non agriculture product is is um, is odd. I, I'm not making a decision. I'm just saying I, it just it just strikes me as odd because this is an industrial project, not an agricultural project. But I, they, they look at that as a business, so the farm. Uh, right. They Rightfully pay, so. It's uh, income. A business. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and probably in their defense, no different than when they came through and put the electrical towers up. I, 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 promise. I have no idea whether they get paid for electrical towers or not. I have no clue on that. It, it, it's immaterial at this point in time. <coughs> and I would say that if I am a farmer and, and you want to move into my neighborhood, that's fine, but respect me as a farmer because if I want to put up a hog confinement facility or I want to spread fertilizer on the field behind your house, I, it was sort of I was there first. And, and now on the other hand, how did those people get there? Who sold them the land to be there? So, so there's the old cloudy crystal ball thing. <laughs> but uh, I too have heard, hey, it's my land. I should do anything I want to do on it. And I and I really like that concept until it fades over into affecting your neighbor. So that's uh, that's kind of where I'm at.
especially when we're talking about uh, affecting property values of your neighbor. It's, you know, and it's been said anywhere from 50% to 10% um, valuation change. Well, you know, to me, even if it's 10%, most of these people that have two acres, five acres, that's their life savings. That's, that's their life. And for us to say, you know, we're just going to take 10%. That's, you know, that's all you're going to lose is 10%. Well, that's 10% of their life savings. And I, I'm not sure that I can, I, I can go for that. I, well, I know I can't. Well, I don't know. I haven't leaped that tall building yet. But that is assessed valuation. What's it going to do? I wouldn't particularly like it. But uh, it's, uh, you know. You asked the question about the TIF district, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I would want to make it clear that basically uh, the biggest opposition to that was SDI. I did come in on the end of it, but all the legal work, I think the only uh -huh. thing that I really had a vote in was the closing of road, uh, I think 600 and the railroad there. and. Uh, wasn't very successful. I don't think the railroad ever closed that. I think we just closed no. it was done. You couldn't get an answer from the railroad. But anyway, uh, that was done. The TIF area was done. The new TIF area, which we have, I, I was involved in that. But uh, that uh, was pretty well done when I got in trouble. Well, Mr. Shrump touched on it. You touched a little bit on the health issues. Okay. I'm sorry, you touched on devaluation of property. You touched on health. Uh, I've done about as, as much studying and, and looked at information a, as I can. And, and I'm not 100% I'm not convinced there's a health issue. And we can't be sure that there's a value de a devaluation issue. But the question is, do we want to be the guinea pig to find out? <laughs> I don't think we want to be noted as, you know, look at Whitley County did. So I, that's, uh, they're issues. They're, they're real to a lot of people. And um, I, I don't, uh, I, I, I think I've, I've told other people, I, I know we've never really discussed this before, but I do, I do believe that. Five years down the road, we might be thinking something totally different, you know, with the change in technology and stuff today. But we can't do that. <laughs> we must think about the technology that's out there today and deal with that. And uh, so, but, uh, you know, I guess. Commissioner Rethlake talked about health issues. And, and um, in one of my first meetings with the uh, people from the Wind Energy Group, um, one of my questions was, are there health issues? And the answer that I got was, there haven't been enough long-term studies. Yeah. That bothers me. Exactly. Out of everything that I've Exactly. The, the, they're really, we had the, 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 the Pierpont studies, and we have that the so-called Massachusetts study, and we have those studies, but doggone it, guys, we're not going to really know. We're not going to know for another 10 or 15 years, really and truly, if it's going to be an issue. And that scares me. That scares me to be a guinea pig. Well, I think you have a, a couple of things, you know. When this time comes that we vote yay or nay, each one of you will vote the best way you think it should be. Five years Ten years down the road, it could be your best vote or your worst vote. Absolutely. But on that day, regardless if it's June the 1st, December, whatever it is, you made the best decision with the information you have. You're charged to do that. And if it's a wrong decision, they'll write about you for years. But if it's a wrong decision, they're... Won't be my first though. Yeah. <laughs> and it probably and won't be the, my last. On the health issue. <laughs> on the health issue. You have it too. I have information from doctors, medical doctors, yep. that says this is it's it's terrible. You shouldn't have this. All these health issues. 
I also have letters from medical doctors that we don't feel that there's a problem. That's now, I'm a lay person like everyone in this room. I don't think we have any medical doctors in here. But anyway, which one do I believe? I, which one I do understand. I sort out? These are professional people in their field. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is the question. And it's hard for me to come up with an answer. I did some checking to try to get this on the November ballot. It was a little too late. But that's where I would have liked to have seen a decision for the people in Whitley County to make that call. We're three people here, District 1, District 2, District 3. Everybody has input. They can contact us. And believe me, many of them have. And that's their right, and they should. But most of it, if we draw a line right from here straight down, have been here that's going to be directly involved, and I haven't hardly heard a thing from the Northeast, Northwest Territory. But how it pertains to you, how it affects you, your family, your grandkids, that's, that's the issue we have to jump across. And believe me, from a stack of Bibles, it's a tough decision, but again, Mr. Chairman, you have to make the call. Georgia and I have to make it. And like I say, it might be the best or the worst decision, but at that time you make it, you did so in the knowledge that you have. And if that's a charge to us, which it appears it's going to be, we dare not back away from it. Thank you, Commissioner. Mr. Sewell, would you mind reviewing for us our options, our charge, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Kind of review for the commissioners again what what we do. Okay, in this instance, the Planning Commission has recommended favorably a proposed ordinance, and that is still what is under discussion, okay, is, is an ordinance. And with the Planning Commission's favorable recommendation on that, you have the option to do nothing. After 90 days, it will be published and it will go into effect, current ordinance. Doing nothing is doing something, though. It, it's, it's creating the ordinance as made by the Planning Commission, right? Correct. Okay, all right. That's right. <clears throat> you can also take action on it, official action, a approve an ordinance as you would normally do. And I, I didn't say the do nothing one first because that I'm is saying. least or best or has no, uh, no Im impact at all. Just but, looking for the options. Right. Don't so then you, you can take action on it and approve it. As presented. That's correct. Okay. Right. Or you can revise it and in, in any amendment or revision to it, it will be sent back to the commission. And the, the statute says you need to do that in writing. You, you can't just speak about it and then, in this case, say, expect me to take it back to the commission now. They don't like it. Here, we need to fix it or something of that nature. It has to be very specific. This, and, and, in, and my suggestion would be you need to actually amend it. If you want to revise it, you need to amend it specifically. You need to say this chapter, this section, this word, this needs to be add, added, this needs to be eliminated, whatever it would be. It, it, it needs to be very specific so that when you get done, it is in a format that can be approved because if any amendments you make to it that goes back to the commission, they have 45 days in which to take action on it. But at the end of the 45 days, if for some reason they didn't take action on it, then whatever you would have sent to them, that then goes into effect. So 
I think that's why I'm saying it needs to be complete when you send it back, just in case. Okay. Understand. Now, typically they don't do that. Again, like you wouldn't normally just ignore it or, you know, take no action on it, but it's still within the realm of possibilities. So we want to make sure that everybody understands what, what, what their job is and we don't want to make any, well, I thought it would be taken care of and it didn't and now it's as there's something left undone or, or it's just, you know, not uh, the way that you, you wanted it to be. Now, the, the, I suppose there is a third, fourth option. Well, let, let's stop for a second because okay. we... Uh, let me just read you one. It, 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 on page one, the third whereas, it, it talks about um, uh, construction. It, 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 it now reads, construction uh, involves the use of heavy equipment, okay? Mm -hmm. If we wanted to word that, the construction, decommissioning, and maintenance of a WEC system involves the use of heavy equipment. Okay, so, so we want that change. Now, now we give it to you in writing. It goes to the Planning Commission. I've understood what you said. They do nothing in 45 days. Uh, I understand that. But if they do something, tell me about if they do something. Right. Okay. They can either accept it or reject it. Okay. Same way you can. They have the same options that, okay. that you do if, if it, okay. in fact, it goes back to them. Okay. And... In, in either case, it will come back to you if they take any action. It will come back, and you all you need to do is approve it again, the same way you did before, two to one vote, three to zero oh vote. So you you have to ac ac acknowledge. Now that's if they do not accept what you have submitted. Let's just say they reject it, then it has to come back. If for some reason they say, hey, fine, that that looks great then it, again, it, it, it is sure. kind of stands as being uh, revised and, and accepted, yeah. okay? Who ultimately is in charge of approving this ordinance? Commissioners. Okay. As all ordinances are, okay. yes. Okay. In this case, it, it is a land use ordinance being a part of the zoning ordinance, at least that is how it's being proposed right now. And with that being the case, then that's why the Planning Commission is involved in, in this. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. It's, oh, no, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. You said there might be one more thing. I'm sorry. If it would go back to the Planning Commission and they would, um, what I say, if they approved it, it'll come back. If they reject it, then you have to, and I think I, I, I we discussed that. You would have to take yeah. further action on it in order for it to become right. uh, become law or, or uh, be approved. Okay. As far as your example, the whereas part of the ordinance is is not something that will actually be a part of the zoning ordinance. I so, just wanted to give you an example. Yeah, so that part, I'm not sure, is, is, is probably okay. not, not the most critical right. thing. Yeah. When you get into, if you want to just you make, make that change, the then I'd say it's approved as, yeah. as is. But yeah, Thank you very much. actually, the, yeah, the, the section of the ordinance where it b yeah. begins is, is probably where I just want to use that as okay. an example. Good discussion, I think, from now on. Is, is this what you, every meeting will have some discussion on this without regurgitating the same thing we said? Oh, I hope so. Um, I, I think we now know our, our charge. We, we just accept it as presented, um, and, and we can accept it. We can amend it and send it back. Those are really what I, I, those are the two that I see myself, okay? The planning commission has done, they've done a fantastic job. I, I just think there's areas that, that, in my case, I'd like to see tweaks. So when you ask, well, are we just going to regurgitate this stuff, my response to that is, I have some items that I would like to discuss and, and 
you all either say yay or nay on those items on the thing. Um, do I want to do that today? I I don't have I don't have a feel for that. So, um, but that's how I see it, Commissioner. That that we we talk about the really some of the hardcore things in the ordinance and um, and 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 I guess you know really and truly in all honesty, it would be possible for if if somebody wants to make a motion that we accept it as presented to us that. That would be an appropriate motion. So I do. I need to make that clear. So, it absolutely, could be could be made. But uh, um, I think I'm not ready to do that today, Mr. Chairman. But, All right. Uh, well, I just want to make sure that we yeah. know that's that's an option. Yeah. Always an option. Um, so I I for myself, um, I guess I would would I I, I think I have, but I'd like to. Reshare some thoughts I have with you all on on paper, and at our next meeting, discuss those discuss those items if that's okay with you. Um, yes. So, Mr. Sewell, we're we're, oh, we're always looking for guidance. I mean, is there we want to make sure we're doing things right? So, do you have words of wisdom for us? Um, Um, no, at this point in time, it really is, it, it, it's in your, your court, okay. so you guys okay. decide, Okay. and if, uh, you know, I, I think, again, you've, you've, been, you've seen the pro process, you've witnessed mm -hmm. the process, you've been involved right. in the process, you, you've heard what the discussion has been, you know the issues, we do. again, I think. I think. Yeah, I believe but I believe that you do. Gave us this opportunity today gave us an opportunity we've not had to sit here and listen to each other. Right. I have absolutely loved this because I've, you know, we just not had this opportunity. So, and and I think my myself, unless you want to continue, I think we've really digested a lot, and I think we should should end the wind discussion for today. But I don't have to. I, the only thing that I'd like to say is that Please. in in our discussions we have to always keep into consideration the comprehensive plan. That that is something that we have to keep into consideration with the ordinance, and because that that is really the comprehensive plan is a is a twenty year plan. Um, what every ten years I guess we we take a look at it. It's really it's it's a a living plan as we, we say long range and should evolve what used to be 20 years was long range now five years who knows what's going right. to happen you know, that, the exactly that. So it, exactly it's really difficult to put technology a time frame on has it now. changed it's, so much it really has. just look at what's changed in this world in the last five years yeah. but, but we still, didn't have auto five years ago so. but yeah we do need to consider that that is yeah. always a part of consideration whenever making uh, an, an ordinance amendment for uh, land use Um, I don't know. I don't know when you have another plan commission meeting before our next meeting on the twenty first. No. Well, I, main thing is I want to please pass along to the planning commission. Very, very much a, appreciate their hard work, and um, it hasn't been easy for them. I know it hasn't, but uh, they. I'm happy they gave us something we can work with. That's that's what I'm real. I'm real thrilled about that. So. Okay. Well, if nothing else, we'll wrap up the wind discussion for today, and it'll be on our agenda again uh, at our meeting on the 21st. And I'm not, I, I think, I'll say right this minute, we will not have a public hearing on the 23rd of, of May. Um, one of the things I got to thinking about was we, we, we finish what we're doing on the, if we were fortunate enough to finish and come up with what we think is a, a, a plan on the 21st, um, there's no way the public could could see it. I mean, it would be physically impossible for them to see if we made a change or anything. They wouldn't know. So I think the 23rd we'll have to scrub. But we'll continue this discussion then on the 21st, if that's okay. All right. Thank all of you for attending today. And with that, we'll get back to... 
unless the other commissioner business. Um, we have before us yet the minutes and the claims to uh, deal with. Mr. Chairman, I read the April 16th minutes, and I would so move we approve them as printed. Second. I have a motion and second to approve the uh, previous meeting minutes. So all in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, same sign. Thank you very much. And Mr. Schrumpf, you got a you got a claim report for us? Yes. Uh, Friday, I got to go through the claims. Um, everything looked uh, normal. I uh, didn't see anything wrong. The only question I had is I had concern, um, and I, I voiced that, that uh, the extension office, uh, I, I would like to have a little bit more information about the uh, $40,000 payment that we do uh, pay to uh, Purdue University. Um, you know, what I'd like to... Professional possibly, fees is professional what I said. Fees, so, right, right. Um, so would you like me to invite uh, the extension person? I, from, personally, for me, that would be great. Yeah. I, I would really yeah, like that's to see fine. that. Uh, okay, Commissioner Redneck. All right. Um, Mr. Rethlick asked about some of the, the uh, um, services that we were getting that we're not using um, the GovPro and uh, most of the other uh, from Heinen Printing, uh, most of that is, is actually uh, print services for printing. Okay. Good. That's fine. Pretty appropriate. And uh, that was about it. You know, it's, it's really pretty nice when you go back. To believe we, I believe we started this, uh, checking the claims in September, and, and it did seem like there was lots of issues. And today you get a report like that. So I think, you know, kudos to... Yeah. Everybody, kudos to everybody, making our job a lot, a lot easier. We're never, it's never our intention to find an employee doing anything wrong. We just want to make sure that the, the taxpayers aren't paying for something that uh, they shouldn't have to. So, so was that a motion, by the way? To yes, I'd like to make a motion. That we accept the, the claims. Okay. Second. We have a motion, a second. That we accept the claims. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, the same side. Thank you much. Um, Mr. Replake, why don't you? Just very quickly, a couple things. Remember, Friday, 9 o'clock, Whitco, third okay. grade to be here. Uh, this is getting down to closing our national. Now, do I understand we only have an hour with them? We have an hour. Okay, so they got to be somewhere at 11, right? They got to be at the recycle center. They're going to visit the recycle center and they have to be there at 10. So we'll have at from 10. 9 to 10. 9 to 9. We'll go over and 10. I expect you and George to cover your commissioners, the consul. I'll be here. But then we'll split them in and they want to go visit the courthouse very quickly and come back. We'll send the other, but they want to leave here because. Just those two. We won't, won't go to the museum or anything, right? No, I don't believe they here are. In the, in the, yeah. Okay. So we'll right. have an hour with them. Okay. Wednesday morning, I'll be meeting with Amy Modern and Steve Weaver over the child care services. Very good. One week from today, we go to the high school at 8 a.m. Uh -huh. Mr. Krieger's business law class will be visiting. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, okay. Want to report for me? <laughs> Please. Okay. No. The only thing I have is I've got a couple of, of situations at the county park. Um, I've talked to uh, uh, Paula uh, Warden and Thor Hodges about uh, um, we don't have anybody to open or close the park anymore. The uh, Tri Lakes Property Owners Association, are, they're having a very difficult time about getting anybody to volunteer yeah. to open and close. So uh, um, um, okay. with your acceptance, I'd, I'd like to, to ask that uh, um, as of Memorial Day weekend that uh, Thor be, uh, uh, I've talked to him, he said he'd be happy to uh, open and close with, with the corrections well, people. I, I really applaud you for and, that action. And they'll actually clean Thursdays. And wow. Our, Friday and Monday when they yeah. open and close yeah. to make sure everything looks good. 
Um, sort of a win-win there, if you yeah, ask me. Yeah. Um, then um, also Camp Samaritan. I've had some suggestions on Camp Samaritan, what we could do with that. Um, okay. One was Acres Trust, um, having to see if they would work with us on, on oh. taking care of that. And the other one was also um, Woodlands and Lakes. Um, I was going to have Stanley see if that was something that uh, <laughs> that it was. See a look at Stanley's face. <laughs> <laughs> would be something that the Woodland and Lakes would be interested in working with. Uh, we're just trying to find options. Yeah, we, That's all we're trying to do right now. We, we have this diamond in the rough that we can't do anything with. That's yeah. just exactly what it is. It's just so sad. Do so, you know what Camp Samaritan is? I, I don't, but I can find out. Okay, sure we have 12 acres that's on Round Lake, but it was, uh, it was a uh, camp for the um, developmentally uh, disabled people that they had for a while there. And, uh, and it's been closed since 2009, 2008, maybe. And, uh, and we, it was turned over by the DNR to the county uh, in 2010. We've got it. There are some buildings there that really need to be torn down, um, but it's it's a beautiful, beautiful land up there. And, and Something like 1,100 feet of lake French? Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. A $75,000 floating pier that was installed about in 2008 or nine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, just it's, sad. It, it's a very sad situation. It truly is. We obviously can't sell it. That is not an option. We yeah. cannot sell it, no. so, um, and I'm okay with that, but I think we struggle with we don't want to how much back. taxpayers' money do we want to spend, and how would we, what would be the return on that, so. And the liability of the Oh, the liability is scary, too, yeah, yeah, but it's a wonderful, it could be a wonderful place. Well, without realizing it, you've handed me a tool I need, and I appreciate that. Um, in our Woodland and Lakes meeting just this past Thursday, which is the first that I've had any opportunity to attend, and I made you a promise, you know, that I'd last longer than the least time <laughs> person. So if the least time person never went to one, I've already done that. But if, <laughs> if they went to one, i got to go to two. But all joking aside, as I sat around that table, and I was, I'm the new kid on the block, uh, but I watched people there who give hours to this thing and whose dedication to it comes out of their concern for exactly what it says, and that's resource development and conservation. And they're... They're just overwhelmed, and I think I'm overwhelmed too. You know how that I'm involved with it, with the idea that in in an almost no warning sense, their funding disappeared from the federal government. This last uh, this well spring of 2010, I uh, no 2011 rather, I think they said. Um, with that said, one thing that we all left talking about trying to do is to go back to our counties and to begin to find resources within our counties like our um, like perhaps our county foundations and, and things like that where we might make presentations to them and ask them if they can see their way clear to help us begin to get refunded to do exactly the sort of things that you're talking about with something like Camp Samaritan. And, and I kept saying to them, what's, what's my hook? I, I don't mind going and talking to these people, but I, I have to have a hook. You can't walk through the door and say, give me money. Just give me money. You know, that, that's, that, that doesn't work. You can, you can, but you can. It, it is done quite often. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. But anybody with any wit will look, look at me and say, sorry, you better have a good reason. But I think this is an example of an excellent reason to do that and begins to be the hook. And so I'll try to get up and see that, and then I can 
begin to work through that sort of thing. And I'll also get a hold of, of our uh, chairman for this year and get some suggestions there too. But I think that begins to be the hook to begin to work on this because right now what, what we were talking about at that meeting at least is that we've got to figure out some way. We're not going to go away. I don't think anybody around the table had the idea that they were going to go away. But what they did realize was they have to find some way to rebuild to become effective again. And, uh, and so, yeah, I, this is exactly the kind of thing that I think needs to be coming to me to help me know how to begin to work on what Whitley County can do for that group to help it do for Whitley County, which is maybe a weird way to go, but, the, but there are some benefits in going through them because it's 503C, you know, and so on. So. Okay, I got four words for you. Long pants, mosquito spray. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. And if you're prone to poison ivy, be careful. Well, it, it's it's a neat place, Stanley. It really is. I it was it's really a neat place. It just almost makes you want to cry. But no one was Round Lake, you said. Yes, sir. Round Lake. State it's Camp up. Road. State Camp Road. State Camp Road at the very end is the gate. Okay. How many acres is it? Twelve acres. Pardon me. Twelve. Twelve. But there is, from the top. I don't know, what are you looking at? Uh, yeah, that's why, that's why it was. Two or three hundred feet, would it be that much? Oh, oh, it's a drop, let me so tell you. To get down to the water's yeah. edge is a struggle. There are steps, but you, they're growing over with vines and wild thorn bushes or whatever the correct terminology yeah. would be for them. Yeah. So as our chairman says, yeah, you want to be equipped. I forget who it was showed up in shorts that day, but and I didn't get any poison <laughs> ivy or bug bite, so I'm well, just I warning I them. I I'm not prone to that, uh, well, Stanley. When you enter the gate, uh, an, another very costly project you can't see. Re remember the clientele that are there, okay? And pretty hard to get that clientele from up top the hill to the bottom of the hill. Mm -hmm. So they put a lower road in, and you got to look good to see it. It's in the woods. They needed a way to take those vans right down to the waterfront and get the wheelchairs out. Yeah. So there is, there is a lower road if you want to walk. It's probably easier, but that's a, it's a long way down, I, isn't it? I have no idea. You have to shoot it. Oh, man, yeah. There is a four-inch well on the place, so it uh, would have drinking water and stuff there. I believe it'd have to be tested, but it's uh, well, the smart thing something. you do first is go with the camera. Because, you know, I I imagine what it could be and and show what it is and then talk about what it could be and that Ooh. begins to create the hook. Good. And, uh, Glad you got creativity because that it could be a lot of things. We just would have no idea where the funding would ever come from for yeah. it. So Okay. And you can get out the beacon site and look at it. And I was trying to get it to come up, but it won't come up down here. Oh, bummer. Yes, sir. What else you got? One more other thing yeah. is uh, the last year, the end of the year, uh, we got some paperwork from the federal government about ADA plans, uh, mm -hmm. American Disabilities Act. And I think let's be proactive on that and go ahead and sure. I think we need to do that before we get behind on it and, and get something in place. Uh, and right now, I, we need to have a facilitator for that. I think our county engineer would be a great facilitator for that. So we need to... And, and you did the inventory, right? Yes. Went through an inventory involved, yeah. and, and that's done. Yeah. So we, we just have to have a plan um, okay. what we're going to do. So we need suggesting to do Brandon Forrester be a facilitator. And I'd be willing to work with Brandon to, to take care Here's of Here's Rutherlake, you have a problem with that? Nope. There nope. you go. Nope. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. That's it. Okay, thank you. Um, Jenny left the room. I'm sorry, he was here waiting on us. I'll start through stuff I have. I wanted to kind of bring you up to speed on, on although I don't have a, an end point, to health insurance. Uh, met with Chad Birch again. Uh, talked very candidly about how we don't ever want to be put in a similar position again, so you better start looking for a way to keep that from happening. 
simultaneously, I, I guess it's just totally coincidentally, uh, Southern Indiana Health Organization, SIO, SIHO, contacted us. I thought it was kind of involved in this, and I, so I met with those guys. Uh, they, uh, they are a, an administrator, too, so they're going to touch. They have their own program. They were going to check with Chad Birch um, about that, too. So we are looking. It's, um, you know, you, you think August 1st is a long way off, you got, and, and yet we got sign, we got enrollment days. I, I really wanted to hold off enrollment until June, but um, I was informed we can't do that. We have to at least notify. Um, also, it's uh, the vision insurance was very well received. Lots of people, so that program will probably will probably fly. Um, I, it will for me. I'm extremely happy with the price. I think for I believe for Patty and I, uh, uh, it's eleven dollars a pay. So um, okay. If you remember, I, I had corporate consultants stop in. They wanted to do the work comp review. They've uh, they've never called back. I've not called them. I, I met with uh, I think through your direction, you wanted me to meet with John Lefevre. I met with John, and and they can they really can do the at the local level review too. And so I think that's what we're gonna shoot for. If you don't already know, the next commissioner caucus is May the twenty fourth. It will be a two-hour caucus. It's 3.30 to 5.30, and this one will take place at the Regional Partnership Offices. Tom, do you know where that's at? Because I'm sure they'll tell us, but it's in Fort Wayne. Yeah. That's all I know. Um, I don't know what street is it. I'll get it. For we'll you. probably yeah, hear. Okay. okay. Um, we will meet with the mayors, right? Yes. Yes. The mayors caucus will be there that day too so mm -hmm. could be kind of exciting uh, I should have done this earlier when he's in here I wanted to thank Alan for setting up our tours I had a great I had a great day that was that was really really nice we uh, we last Monday we toured uh, real craft shindigs egg plus and Fox instruments Fox products I think it is in South Whitley as I love these these tours, they're, I've learned so much about Whitley County, and boy, I tell you, we got, we got a lot to be proud of in this county, and uh, so, um, next, I want to thank Tom publicly, uh, he's done a tremendous job setting up these school visits, Tom, I had a blast at Chair Musco, I loved it. it, it's probably the fastest hour I've had in a long, long Good. time, and, um, and on top of that, he, he did all this for, for government month, and then on top of that, he uh, talked some poor cookie guy into giving him free cookies. <laughs> and uh, we were at the farmer's market last Saturday. Again, had a ball. Uh, you remember how they made fun of me wearing shorts at, at, uh, at Camps America? <laughs> well, I did it again on Saturday. Boy, that was a mistake. I about froze, and I already have a bad... Uh, situation going on here so I feel kind of dumb about that but uh, and then still to go as he said we have South Whitley here Friday in Columbia City on Monday uh, May 23rd Allen's that's the luncheon before last year's tours um Danny are you going to talk anything about the tobacco law signage well just I just got a price on sign so. uh, allow me to Quickly state, and then, and then and I know you're a busy man. I'll let you go ahead with what you need here with us today. Okay. Um, I looked through the new tobacco laws coming out in, in on July 1st. Um, we must have some signage. I immediately got a hold of Mark and Denny and told them what kind of what to expect. Uh, Denny, I got the approval today from Heather Reed. They will pay for the signs. That's uh, tobacco for.